What's up, my movers and shakers? I'm Dave. This is MS Paint. And once again, we're going back to basics. So, the old world is here, or rather, it was here and now no one's talking about it anymore. But I think this video might actually be just in time for those who have painted everything in their old world starter boxes to start thinking about bases. I've been a busy boy doing some composing work this month, so I only had one evening to paint these minis up. So, not my best, not my worst, but also definitely painted. First up is All Purpose Filler from Poundland. This one specifically as it has a fuller body once it dries and has less shrinkage than the other stuff. You might be tempted to use some other terrain paste or Citadel texture paint, however, those either crack when they're heaped up or they shrink drastically, killing the effect of what we want to go for here. Also, this costs a quid, so yeah, anyway. Next step is down to you and how you think you can work it best. I tried a few tools, but mostly I settled on a curvy smooth backed sculpting tool that I found in Boys. That and a good chunk of water meant I could smooth it quite nicely into these gentle dune-like undulations. Once it's dry, it's the tried and tested three tier gradient as we go, with a wash in between. Start with a Zandri dust or something similar for the base coat. And then we're gonna sketch Okay, I guess I'm going to put tufts on this base now. Then we're sketching in some vague highlights against the green. Not essential, you know, at this stage to do, but I think it helps with blending later on. Wash choice is a sepia wash. I chose this over the more traditional Agrax or say Strong Tone because when you add a lot of water to archaic sepia or seraphim sepia, it actually starts to fall apart and you get some nice pastel pinks, a little bit of red, some greys, some browns. It's quite subtle, but it comes out finally in the dry brush. And I'm using that water on the highest points just to dial the intensity down a bit. Then once again, we're going back to a dry brush and going against the grain with our mid-tone. And we're getting a bit closer to that bleached out sand look that we want. And finally, hit a highlight on there with your lightest sand color and nice. I was tempted to go with dried out pale looking grass for the tufts, but I thought, you know, some contrast might work a bit nicer. So we went with a dark brown. And added some of this wonderful ground cover stuff from Mini Nature, however you pronounce that like an autumnal ground cover thing, works a treat on this. The 
What's up guys, Tony Slip and Slide here, back in perpetual forward motion, and I'm here to talk to you today about your behavior, about today's sponsor of the Squarespace. Ever wanted to know what it was like to design a website from scratch? No, me neither. Well, thanks to Squarespace, you don't gotta be doing none of that icky coding or programming stuff, because with Squarespace's browser-based web builder, you can pick from a selection of templates and be ready to start making the website of your dreams in minutes. With so many templates from award-winning designers, there's just too many places for with so many with so many web with so many templates from award-winning designers, there's just so many places for you to make a start on building your website. But hey, have you had the but hey, have you had a bad experience in the past with your website going down? Not no fuck No problem! Squarespace has a reliable spot. Squarespace has a reliable service hosted all around the world, and along with 24-hour technical support, your website is in safer hands. Have you ever fancy putting a portfolio online of all your fancy paint miniatures? Well, now you can, because Squarespace's templates feature everything from portfolios to vlogs to blogs to daily news updates, all in one browser-based interface. Wow! And as always, guys, it wouldn't be Tony D slip and slide time without mentioning the domain acquisition tab, guys. Simply head over there. Type the name and the address you want to give your fresh and funky website and immediately connect it to the rest of the world. So start your online journey today by heading to squarespace.com forward slash MSPaints and using the code MSPaints at checkout to save yourself 10% off your first website subscription or domain. <laughs> All right, bye With our Tomb King's base is done, it's time to move on to the Bretonian bases, or as I should probably call them, all-purpose fantasy bases. This is a Timu special piece of pine bark for, I think it's made for like lizard tanks, but you know, you can get some big old chunks in there and it is dirt cheap for a big bag. Here I'm cutting it with a saw for some fucking reason and uh, yeah, don't do that. You can get a hobby knife through this. You know, it goes through it like butter basically. So just, just use the hobby knife. Let me slap some neat PVA glue onto the base. And as per MS Paint standard, start with the big gauge rocks first. Then hit it with some mixed grit sand. Any sand will do here really, assuming it's got a finish texture. Also, mixed herbs are a great little bit of forestry texture if you want to, you know, if you want to lean it that way. Importantly, you need to brush off the loose sand anywhere that you don't want it in the final thing. Like with all scenic stuff on here, we hit it with rubbing alcohol or dish soap and water to begin a capillary action, allowing our heavier bodied watered down PVA to fully soak through and seal everything. Paint wise, we start off with a super dark brown and then gradually work up to the mid browns. And semi-finally, some creams or greys, just to pop those edges. I chose to stipple on some grey on the rocks because I don't want, you know, to fully cover the brown that's under there. To make it all feel a little bit more like one landscape. It's important to keep those colours fairly fluid. If you want to see this process in more detail, check out this diorama video I did of two dragons having a fight.
And just because bases are extremely hard to film when they actually have a miniature on, here is a final, pre-final assembly shot thing. And there we go guys. I dial back a lot of the faff I usually do for bases in this one, so there's no mixed herbs, no wacky textures, no weathering powders. I try to keep it as simple, beginner friendly and cheap as possible. Thanks for watching and massive love and thanks to my awesome Patreon community. I know a fair few of you guys have gotten into the old world and I'm looking forward to seeing your stuff finished or at the very least I'm looking forward to seeing you enjoying some new old toys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, that helps me out muchly, unless you absolutely hated this, in which case, like and subscribe, that helps me out muchly. That's it for me, cheers, I'm out of here.